Hey, everyone, this morning's morning sprint. Excited about today's topic. We're going to talk about living a life of greater purpose, passion, and meaning in service to other human beings and growing our business and growing ourselves holistically. So today, we're going to talk about you can either live your fears or live your dreams. Neither one is easy. And you know, people say, hey, how you doing? And I, I'll say this. I think I got it from a movie once. I think it was Wedding Crashers. People be like, how you doing? I'm like, I'm living the dream. I'm living the dream. You know, well, that doesn't mean an easy life. Okay, that simply means that we are growing, growing pains, growing is never easy, always rewarding, never easy, but we're growing towards something that we actually have, find purpose in, that we actually find meaning in. So it's super, super important that we have that differentiated. So what does that mean for us? Why don't we grow? We don't grow out of fear. We don't fear first out of fear of judgment from others. Well, here's the thing. Others don't have your calling. They don't have the gifts and talents and the drive to do what you do. So of course it's gonna be weird to some others. You know, of course other people might be like, well, that's weird, you're doing this, this online coaching thing, I never heard of that. That's because it's not their, their gift zone, it's not their talent. So of course they're not gonna understand it. So why would we fear being judged by people that simply just don't know what it is that we do. So the second thing is we fear rejection. That is that is the number one thing, by the number one fear that holds us back, entrepreneurs, is fear of rejection. So this is the way I look at it. You are offering someone an opportunity. You're offering them an opportunity and if they don't want to take advantage of that opportunity, that is something that they don't have get now that they don't have access to. They're not rejecting you by saying, hey, I'm not in the market for that, or whatever it is that they would say, no, or get off, or get out of here, whatever it is that they say. They're, they're shutting the door on an opportunity for themselves. They are not rejecting you, your product, service, they're rejecting the opportunity for themselves. Okay, so super, super important. And the worst thing that we can do to not service another human being is to not ask to not put it out there, to not give an opportunity out there, okay? So super important that we understand that. <clears throat> Fear of judgment. That's another big thing. You know, um, David, you know, the story of David and Goliath. David went through this because he said, hey, I want to, you know, maybe what's the reward for if I beat this Goliath guy? And everyone like went crazy. They're like, who do you think you are? The reward, you you cocky son of a gun. And by the reward, wait, the reward was he didn't have to pay taxes ever and he was made a king. It was like whoever beat this Goliath guy. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, people are going to judge your intentions for a few reasons. One, they don't know your intentions. And B, they may not be growing forward at the pace that you are. And that might cause a little bit of resentfulness. So continue to be their, their leader. Okay, disciple that person on a growth-driven birth uh, journey because as they see you forging new paths, it's going to build belief for them. And the only reason that they're coming at you is they're upset and resentful towards themselves for not doing it first or maybe they did it before and gave up early. Okay, so that, that, that fear is very, very important to overcome. And then finally, the fear of failure. You never fail in this business unless you quit. Period. You're constantly growing. So that is how we are going to literally live the dream by, by bashing those four fears. And then living the dream won't always be easy, but it will always be worth it.